Hi beloved, so what I want to share today is quickly explain to you actually what my page is about. My testimony is obviously I grew up as a Muslim since I was four. I was a very devoted Muslim. I see people online telling me, oh, she was never a Muslim. You never had an idea who I was. You saw me for a few seconds here on my page and you dictate how I live decades of my life. I was raised and I grew up and I was a devoted Muslim. My page consists of me explaining how I left Islam and I came to Christianity right explaining that the bible isn't corrupt jesus crucifixion is an evidence explain how the quran is simply wrong is simply making an error by saying that jesus was never crucified because he was and he was resurrected and so i'm dedicating my page into explaining that and and the studies i have made and to sharing that with you part of it reaching out to the muslims who are um, willing to convert who are open and curious and god has called them to convert helping them the steps further like recently i made a video about how to deal once you've converted how to deal with it the psychological impact it has on a muslim to leave islam is a lot because i was once one so i know what that impact looks like so I make videos, for example, enlightening about that situation. Also, at the same time, I'm making a lot of Christian content. So my own testimonies, I think God is in my life, but also what I see around me that happens. But I also share biblical themes, explaining biblical themes, how the Bible speaks on this topic, on that topic. And if you are one of these Muslims telling me that I should shut up and I should stop talking and you're mocking me and you're insulting me in my private messages, telling me I'm going to go to hell and all of this, you can block me, you know? <laughs> Honestly, I will never react. I would never below myself to that level because I am sharing facts, sharing studies with you. I'm sharing, I'm just telling you, go study Islam for yourself instead of attacking someone online that you have no idea who I am. But I will never react to it because I'm trying to bring the peace of Christ. Yeah, I'm trying to represent Christ. I'm not trying to discuss. I'm not trying to fight. I'm not trying to attack. No, no. All I'm doing is I'm obeying my God. Is I'm obeying my God and I'm sharing the truth is a tactic that they use on you. A lot of uh, the I've noticed that a lot of Muslims is a tactic that they use on you. They want to put you like in a corner, attacking you personally. Because I've not heard a single person telling me, yeah, but historically, the death of Jesus never happened. My most important argument is that the Quran says he was never crucified. Christianity said that's our whole faith he was crucified so one of these two gotta be right it's people attacking me on a personal level first of all there's nothing you can attack on because you have no idea who i am okay so people make up all kind of stories and attacking me and insulting me and mocking me which you can do because jesus experienced all of that by himself so me i'm barely a mess so i know i'm gonna experience all of this if my god if my jesus experienced all of that obviously and me as a follower i will do too so what i notice is that you're trying to put you like in a corner attacking you on a personal level rather than actually discussing the argument rather than actually trying to break the argument down but let me tell you one thing you will not get me in a corner because i'm not going there i I'm here representing Jesus. It's important to know which of these two faith is reliable. If the Quran makes such a big mistake about saying that Jesus' crucifixion never has happened, how can you rely the accuracy of that book if it has such a error, such a historical big error about Jesus' crucifixion? How can I trust the rest of it? While it's the Bible, it's evidence-based. It's evident based. My faith is not based on feeling. My faith is based on the fact that Jesus died on that cross. How I, as a devoted Muslim in the past, got the interest in Christianity, it wasn't because someone was forcing me. It wasn't because uh, someone was hurting me. No, it was purely because I was just curious. I got the curiosity to study it. Yeah. Matter of fact, I wanted to study to prove it's wrong. <laughs> Years later, here I am. That's the only way I will also approach any Muslim who's interested. If you're interested, if you have questions, if you want to receive answers, absolutely. But if you're like one of the hundreds and the hundreds, just mocking, just screaming, telling me I'm going to go to hell, do you really think I'm going to waste my time replying to that? No, I won't. And obviously, all I'm, all I'm saying to you is God forgive you. You know why I speak so loudly about my story, about... 
the, all this biblical understanding is because I know enough Christian, Middle Eastern Christians that they do not dare to share their faith because they will be murdered. According to Islamic law, if you leave Islam, you should be killed according to Islamic law. So I know all of these Christians in the Middle East, they don't dare to share their faith publicly. So I will. Oh yeah, I will. And I will never stop. I promise you. I'm very excited to share further biblical themes and biblical studies with you. And to my followers, it's so overwhelmingly beautiful how many of you guys approach me and share your testimonies. I really appreciate every single one of it. I really do. I become happy thinking of it. I really do. It's so wholesome. It's so, so wholesome. And I really thank you for feeling safe enough doing so. And Lord's willing, I'll keep on continuing doing this because I'm here to serve and not to be served. For the rest, I pray you have a blessed day and that everything is going well in your life. Okay, God bless.